Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. Good evening everyone and welcome to Christians Unite Bible Readings. Today we are going to be looking at Hebrews chapter 9. Now I did, before I start reading, wanted to thank people, people for praying for me. Um, for those of you don't, that don't know, last week I was actually in the hospital with pancreatitis, um, so I was not able to uh, record my sermons for that week. Um, but I'm back now, everything's back to normal health, um, should be good to go. Um, so I'm going to continue my Reading Through the Bible series. Uh, we'll also be continuing topics and also uh, Fact Fridays as well. All right, let's get to it. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 1. Old Covenant Sanctuary. Then verily the first covenant had also ordinance of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. For there was a tabernacle made the first wherein was the candlestick and the table and the shoe bread, which is called the sanctuary. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all, which had the golden censer and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid round about with gold. Wherein was the golden pot that had manna and Aaron's rod that budded in the tables of the covenant, and over it the cherubims of glory, shadowing the mercy seed, of which we can now cannot now speak particularly. So these few verses are literally just describing the temple uh, that they used in the Old Testament. It's giving us a background of what we're about to be talking about. Verse 6. Old Covenant Sacrifice. Now when these things were thus ordained, the priest went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of God. But in the second went the high priest alone, once every year, not without blood, which he uh, offered for himself and offered for the people. The Holy Ghost, this signifying that the way into the holiest of all would not yet made to be manifest. Well, as the first tabernacle was yet standing, which is a figure for the time then present, in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect, as pertaining to the conscience, which stood only in meats and drinks, and divers, washings, and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of the reformation so this is talking about sacrifices so in the old testament they had to give a blood sacrifice typically an animal uh, and this would happen every single year this is how they atone for their sins and so because christ at that point had not um, shed his blood for our sins this is the way that the old testament believers would have had to um, make amends for their sins new covenant sanctuary verse 11 but christ being come and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands that is to say not of this building so now that we have Christ, there's no need for a temple or a place for offerings because Christ is the way that we use for forgiveness of those sins. So we no, no longer need the ritual sacrifices or anything like that. It's already been paid by Christ. New covenant sacrifice. Neither by the blood of the goat and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of the bulls and the goats and the ashes of the heifer 
sprinkling the unclean sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament. They which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is there must also be the necessity by the death of the testator. For a testament is a force after men are dead. Otherwise it is no strength at all while the testator liveth. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all people according to the law, he took the blood of the calves and the goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament which God hath enjoyed unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and the vessels of the ministry. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. It was therefore necessary that the pattern of things in which heaven should be purified with these, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ has not entered into the holy place made with hands, which are the figures of, of the true, but in heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Nor yet that he should offer himself often as the high priest entereth into the holy place every year with the blood of others. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now once in the end of the world hath he appeared to put him away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them he looks for him, he shall appear to the second time, without sin unto salvation. This section of scripture is talking about Christ as our mediator and our sacrifice. So he serves as the high priest and also the sacrifice. Um, the only difference is instead of once a year, because of his sacrifice, um, we have a constant uh, connection with God through Jesus. Um, we no longer have to wait once a year to do this. Uh, we can uh, repent of our sins and that sacrifice that Christ made uh, is valid to cover those sins. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will continue on in our next video of Hebrews chapter 8.